Hey, what's up? We have another question from another student. Let's hear today's question. How do I target an element inside of a class in CSS? This is super simple, so let's break it down. Okay, so targeting an element inside of a class is super simple. Don't overthink it. Take a look at this little project that I've got built. It's really pretty basic. There's just two things in the HTML, a nav and a main tag. Inside the nav, we just have an H1 that says my blog, which you see up here. And inside of the main tag, we just have three sections. Each section has one H2 tag with the respective title, as well as a paragraph tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the CSS and I'm going to go over the little bit of styles that we currently have in there. And then I'm going to show you how we can target an element inside of a class name. So in here, don't worry too much about lines one through six. This is just what I use to kind of reset the browser defaults. So let's just hop straight into line eight. So the nav just has a background color, which is a light gray and a little bit of padding. And the main section also has some padding and each section has a little bit of margin to give it a little bit of space between one another. So if I were to ask you to change the color of one of the H2s, how would you do it? If we wrote H2 color orange, that's gonna change all the H2s on the page. And if we wanted to just change the H2 of the HTML section, how would we do that? Well, this is where targeting an element inside of a class name can come in handy. So if we hop back into the HTML, we'll see that the very first section has a class of HTML section. So let's go ahead and target that. I'll do this right above our initial H2 rule that we just wrote. So to target a class, you write a period followed by the class name. So we have dot HTML dash section. And if we write color orange this way, everything in that whole section is gonna turn orange. So if we want to target the H2, we just need to write right after the HTML section, the element that we wanna target. And it's only gonna target the element that is inside of the very first part of the CSS rule. So let's go ahead and erase this H2 that we have down here. We'll hit save, that way we just see our first section still is all colored in orange. And to target just the H2, we'll wanna write a space and then just H2. And that works perfectly, but it won't always be that simple. So let me give you an example of another thing to be kind of concerned about. So we only have one paragraph tag in here. And let's say we wanted to target the paragraph tag inside of the HTML section. We can do that by writing HTML section followed by a paragraph tag, just like we did with the H2. And we could say color green, and that's great. But let's say later on we add another paragraph tag in there. It's automatically going to also turn green. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'll just copy this and I'll paste it. And it does expand, so let's uh, collapse it so that we can see everything. So now you see this first section has two paragraph tags. And as you can see, it basically created a lot more text. And they're both green. So how can we target the second paragraph tag? Well, there are some advanced CSS selectors that will let you target that without a class name, but what we can do is just add class names to make it simple. So the very first paragraph tag will say class, and we'll just call this first. And then we'll say class uh, second for the second paragraph. And now we can say HTML section paragraph tag. Now, if we write a space and write the class of first, what do you think is gonna happen? If we hit save, nothing is green. So basically what this is writing is it's looking for an element with the class of first inside of the paragraph tag, but the paragraph tag has the class of first. So what we need to do is just remove the space. So now we have P with no space, which, which it represents our paragraph tag. And then we have the class of first. And if you're using VS Code, you will have these little um, snippets that pop up that kind of show you this. So if you hover over this, it's saying that the way that I wrote this rule is it's looking for an element with the class of HTML section with a paragraph tag with the class of first. And that's what this rule is targeting. So if we come in here and we actually put that space right back in there and we hover over it, you'll see what it was doing initially. It's going to have an element that has the class of HTML section. 
it's looking for a paragraph tag inside of that. And then inside of that paragraph tag, there's another element with the class of first, which is not what we want. So let's remove that space and we'll hit save. And now you see just our first paragraph has the color green. So I hope this helped. Targeting elements inside of a class name in CSS is something you're gonna be doing a lot. So I definitely recommend to practice this and get some experience using it. But I'll see you guys in the next quick tip. Until then, have fun and happy coding. Before you go, I just wanna mention that no matter what kind of website or web application you wanna build, you'll need to understand CSS. And if you haven't written much CSS or even if you've never written CSS at all, don't worry, we have a course specifically for you. We'll start you off with basic CSS concepts and then gradually progress you to more advanced topics and lessons. Check down below for a link to our CSS basics course. Also, we offer free trials, so there's never been a better time to learn to code.